jazz actress and New York Times best-selling author, our friend Jenny Mullen right there, sharing the excitement for her new book, City of Lights. And she is joining us now. <laughs> Welcome, Jenny. Thanks, guys. Wow. Jenny, Great to see you in, in person right here. I'm so thrilled to be here in person. Um, congratulations, first of all, on the book. Before we get to that, I know you're from L.A., right? Yeah, well, I went to college here and lived here for many years. Okay, and obviously you lived, lived many lives here. Many lives. Earned many bridges. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> <laughs> and you now live in New York. How, how do you do. like that uh, transition? Uh, well, for me, I always say that New York feels like a giant cruise ship where I can be a mom upstairs in my apartment, but I can also disappear downstairs to, like, a night of dancing, a night of, like, you know, maybe just even sitting and watching a movie with my husband. I have the duality in New York that yeah. in L.A. I just couldn't find. Do you know every playground in a 10-mile radius of you? I feel like the oh, kids. Oh, God. Well, do, do you guys feel like before you had kids, you didn't see playgrounds? Never. It's like, you remember the sharper, remember the sharper image? It was like those posters that are, like, it just looks almost like static on a television, but you'd stare at it long enough. That's what that's what it's done for me. Like I feel like now I see playgrounds. I'm like, whoa, oh, there's a playground there. There's, there's swings at that yeah. one. We got to go to that one. So that's what's happened. Yeah, yes, I see every playground now. That's serious uh, uh, prize uh, property there in New York. Oh, it's um, wild. Big fan of uh, you guys as a couple and your husband, Jason, who we've had on the you. show Look a bunch and stuff. Thank you. How'd you guys originally meet, by the way? We did a movie together. Oh. We did a movie together, uh, and the producer was trying to sleep with my sister. So he <laughs> granted me access to the audition tapes. And he said, we're choosing between two guys. One is this other actor I didn't know, and one is Jason Biggs. And I, of course, was like, well, who cares about Jason Biggs? He's already famous. Like, you have to give it to the underdog. I didn't want to root for Jason. He already had more than I had. I was already jealous of him without even knowing him. Wow. <laughs> so I pushed the other guy, and then I watched the tapes and instantly had to call the producer back and say, I'm blown away. Jason Biggs is a really good actor. You have to give it to him. And I might be in love with him. <laughs> Wait. So you casted your boyfriend, I cast basically. Him. And did Look your sister end up with the producer? No. Oh. She married Jason's best friend. What? Hey. Yes. So it was a mitzvah. You know, she did she did get something out of the deal. S some six degrees going on. It's right? wild. It's um, wild. We love your books that you've written before, but this is your first novel. Yes. What's the premise? So it's about a new mom that moves to New York City and falls under the influence of a very big mommy influencer and sort of gets wrapped up in that world and the addiction to social media and all that all that sort of that provides so for those who may not be familiar what, what exactly is a mommy influencer what happened to me and how i sort of ended up in this world of mommy influencing was you know in la i feel like you're only as popular as the last pilot you shot right like the <laughs> currency here is fame but in new york the currency is really just money and i wasn't as rich as these people i didn't have this kind of crazy wealth that you see in new york but what i did come to new york with was this demographic of female followers between the ages of 18 to 35 with a little bit of buying power Valuable. who did what and bought whatever I told them to. So all of a sudden I was being approached by brands to sell everything from diapers to maxi pads. So like, that's just, a mommy influencer. That's a mommy influencer. Just the yes. mere fact that I had a child elevated me to this position of moral authority on motherhood. Right. And all of a sudden it's like, whatever I said, you know, eat your placenta, don't eat your placenta. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I was an capitalism. expert. Love yeah. It. All right. Well, we got a couple of hot topics to go over with you because you always have something fun to say. Are okay. you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. What do you think about adult children calling their parents by their first name? Mm. I think it's creepy. Yeah. I think yeah. it's so scary. But I will say that when Sid really wants my attention, he'll say, Jenny Mullen Biggs. <laughs> and I instantly turn around like scared. It's a parent move right there. Yeah, right? The full um, name. Do you think it's possible to actually have a favorite child? Don't you guys think that you sort of go back and forth? It's like, one's nice to me today, he's my favorite. This one did this, okay, now he's my favorite. Oh, it's my daughter, I tell her straight out all the yeah. time, too. My boys, my boys have to deal with it. Oh, I, I would do that, too. I, I'm with you. Uh, what about parents putting posting their kids on social media? No, I think it's the worst thing. I'll never do it. I don't post really? my kids. You don't? Why is that? I'm trying to think if I've seen Well, them. first of all, I'm a child of the 80s, so I do believe that, like, I've been told my whole life I'm going to be raped, kidnapped, uh, <laughs> you know, ta taken to Mexico and sold as a slack slave. Like, that was the after school special that played over and over in my head my entire yeah. adolescence. How about those after schools? They are right? so crazy. I was scared ones. to death. Like, I, I would never post this. my kids. It's like clickbait. Also, I think that they're, I've given them egos. I tell them how beautiful they are all the time, but I don't want to advertise them to other people. I don't want anyone else to know but me okay um he's like i'm scared okay of <laughs> no, so, i'm scared of her <laughs> um megan fox i guess sent her ex brian austin green and girlfriend sharna burgess a baby gift they white sent them a white floral arrangement the card said congratulations brian and sharna 
and Machine Gun Kelly was not on the card. Was that the right move? Well, I think she probably, an assistant probably sent that bouquet, let's be honest, right? Yeah. She didn't send that bouquet. If it were me, I would have probably knit something or maybe sent like an 8x10 glossy of myself for the baby's bedroom. <laughs> but I'm just spitballing. And before we let you go, is there a cookbook coming out too? Yes, I have a Dictator Lunches cookbook that comes out September 13th. Wait, talk about the title. What is the title? Dictator Lunches. Well, my son, I live in a dictatorship. Totally. I live like in an autocratic society at home, I do whatever they tell me to do. Oh, that's what I'm saying, yes. My son tells me that he's the main character of our family. And you write night. a little message there? I wrote a little message. My kids speak German because, again, they're dictators. They have to speak German. <laughs> that's like all, all good dictators speak that. German. Wow, yes. that's, I just so have that's the I love old you. school brown that's paper I love you. bag. Totally. Um, congrats on everything. Thank Great you so to much. see you. It's so all falling into you place. Yeah. You can pick up City of Likes wherever books are sold. I love that. And check out Jenny's website for her book tour dates. It's going to be really fun.